Quantinuum, Honeywell and CQC came together um, and essentially, Pat, they launched, and this wasn't brand new, right? This was something we'd, we'd heard about a while ago, but the two companies came together and created uh, a, a, basically a new entity. This entity is going to be backed by Honeywell, significant nine-figure investment, chairman of the board, Darius Adamchak, but Elias Khan and Tony Utley, the leaders of the two businesses, are going to be leading this new this new company, Pat. And so this is the first announcement, and you and I, uh, as advisors to uh, Honeywell Quantum, uh, have been briefed on several things. But this is the first announcement in what I believe are going to be several announcements. And so I had the chance to cover this right about it. Uh, Paul Smith Goodson on your team wrote a really nice piece about this as well, Pat. Um, and we'll put the links there in the show notes. But really what this is is a moment, as I see it, where Quantum is once again uh, waving its hand and saying, hey, we are viable to the market. And this isn't something that's uh, 10 and 20 and 30 years out, but this is something that uh, the market and users are going to start to benefit from today. Now, this announcement of Continuum is really more about creating the structure of this new entity. It's, it's, in, it's introducing this full stack platform, uh, somewhat agnostic pat platform. First of all, uh, what was announced was that the company is going to uh, open source development. So they're going to go to a software development stack that enables uh, not only for software to be built to be used on Honeywell, but to be used on IBM quantum machines and other machines. So that's super interesting. And, and there's a little leak out there that uh, Continuum is going to be offering one of the first softwares that can be uh, subscription like as a service delivered for security. So they're actually coming out to market and kind of saying, hey, this is going to be a monetizable uh, quantum company that can drive real revenue, real service that can be utilized today and, and deliver something that traditional classical computing cannot do on its own. Um, Pat, I'm going to make one prognostication. This company, I believe, will go public. It will happen fairly quickly. I could see a SPAC, possibly direct listing, more likely a SPAC. Um, and, and it's going to create another vehicle of investment for people who want to get in on quantum. Now, um, there are a few out there. Um, I've, I've seen some of the stuff you've covered on, on like INQ, who's been investable in public recently. Um, but what I kind of like here is that the big companies like Honeywell, Google, um, uh, IBM, you couldn't invest in quantum. You had to invest in this whole conglomerate, and quantum was just a small, tiny fraction of revenue for them. This is going to give people who are bullish on quantum something, an avenue to look at with some real uh, hopeful uh, hopeful for revenue projections and business. And of course, Pat, we've been close to them for a while. So that, that's kind of was my take on the, uh, I got to get this right, man, on the continuum news. It's not hard to say. It's just been hard for me. No, listen, I've, I've, I've messed it up uh, a couple of times, but every time I say continuum, it gets a little easier, but I still have to think a little bit. Uh, the good news is this, you know, this new name of this new company is not something that's just going to be here for some promotion. It's going to be here for years. So uh, great analysis, Daniel. And my the big things that came to mind for me were, first off, I like the full stack play. I like the software and the hardware. And as we can see, there are certain companies that, you know, at sometimes having the piece parts is good for focus. And other times... Uh, having a full stack, having all the parts come together uh, is is better for others. And this is the first full stack uh, quantum company, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And, you know, what is a full stack company? Well, it's Apple, right? Uh, AWS uh, is a full stack company when you look at, at their own silicon. They, they, they do it all, all the way from the application to, to the hardware. And I think that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, the other thing is this security... Uh, capability to me, and I got to watch what I say. I believe it's the first true instantiation of a security service that, that uses quantum and is better on quantum than using a classical computer. I've got uh, Paul Smith Goodson, uh, our quantum uh, guru, doing the double and, and triple click on that, but I'll, I hope to have a lot more of that later. The other thing is, don't look at this as a winner take all market. Um, there are some, some things that are really positive that IBM is doing, uh, that INQ is doing, that uh, Quantinuum and even Atom Computing, they all have a, 
a slightly different way of, of, of addressing this market. But I think that, first of all, we're early. Uh, we're not as early as the pioneers who've been working on this for the previous 10 years, like, uh, like Honeywell and IBM. But um, there's still a lot of room for a lot of people who are jockeying for position uh, right now. And again, I'll get back to what I like about this. I really appreciate the, uh, the full stack, full stackness 